Hey what is up guys, it's Slot, and today I'm going to show you guys how to create your very own schematic with the Schematica mod and build it with the Baritone bot. But first things first, I do just want to say thank you all so much for the amazing support on my last video. You guys are awesome. Uh, I never expected the video to get that big and I really appreciate each and every one of you guys for liking and commenting. But without further ado, let's get into the video. Alright, so first thing we're going to need is the Minecraft Forge Windows installer, so go ahead and download this one here. If you're on OS X or another operating system, one of these two should work. We're going to need the Baritone for 1.12, and this, we're going to download this one. Schematica mods right here. Linatrius Core mod um, right here. This is basically a support mod for uh, Schematica to make sure it works. And then the World Edit CUI mod. This one is optional, but it does help you so you don't have to push F3 as much in the game, uh, which is going to be super helpful you can just have the coordinates uh, for the blocks right on your cursor and I'll show you how that's helpful in a minute. So once you've got all these downloaded, I'll link all of them in the description for you guys, but click on this one. And you're going to want to make sure that you've run vanilla 1.12.2 before or else the installer probably won't work. So go ahead and click install client here. And click OK. Boom, you should be good to go. You can toss this to the side and now we're going to go percent, app data percent, Navigate to your Minecraft folder, click Mods. If you haven't made that already, it should be there when you install Forge, but if it's not there, go ahead and make the file uh, Mods, and then take these files and drag them in. All right, next step what you're going to need to do is pretty much open up Minecraft, and your Forge should be front and center right here. Click Play. You should see a new splash GUI here while it loads. So let's go ahead and make a new world here. We'll do creative and we'll do a super flat just to make things easy. All right, so what we're going to do is we're going to make a little structure here. And it can be whatever you want. This could be in any world that you have already. Um, it's just whatever structure you want Baritone to build for you, basically. Right, so now this is made, we're going to go ahead and configure our controls real quick. Scroll down here to Schematica. Um, and first thing we're going to do, if you don't have a numpad, these won't work. So what you're going to need to do, if you don't, I always set it to I, O, and P. Just for convenience in case your keyboard does not have a numpad. Uh, this is what I found to work for me. Right, so now that that's there, what we can do is press K. And this is going to give us a little number right above our cursor. And that's actually the distance of blocks uh, from our from our character. So what we can do here is press K again. It's going to give us coordinates for wherever we're looking. And this is going to be super helpful for us because basically we don't want to have to press F3 every time we look at coordinates. F3 gives us coordinates for our character and not where we're looking. But we need coordinates for wherever we're looking. Let's go ahead and look at this corner here. Make sure you're looking at the, the bottom corner or wherever you're looking at. It can be either corner. Or we're going to type schematica save and then you're going to type the coordinates that you see right in front of you 184462 we're going to go ahead and copy and cut that and then find the upper corner the opposite upper corner we'll go ahead and paste that and we'll type in the coordinates that we see 8666 now we're going to give it a name so let's name it house and as you can see there at the bottom it says successfully saved house. So pretty much we've just saved our house or our build to a schematic file. So what we can do now is press I and boom our schematic file is now in the schematics folder of our Minecraft. Click done. As you can see here schematica brings up the actual build right in front of us here. But it's not actually there. It's like a little rendering. So what we can do is press O on our keyboard and now we can edit it. Let's move it down here. Move it this way, and we'll move it back some. And to see what materials is in your build, boom, right here. You press materials in the O menu, and it's going to show you all the available materials that you have in your hotbar, and it's going to give you the materials that it needs. What we can do is actually move it over, almost like a little template. 
once it's completely over there, click materials again, and it's going to show you that it's completed. 37 and 37, 31 and 31, 25 out of 25. And now we can unload it. But we want Baritone to build it for us. So what we're going to do is we're going to come over here. We're going to type build house dot schematic. Baritone's pretty much going to start building it for us. However, we're going to pause it really quick. We're going to go ahead and turn on the schematic file. Let's click I again, click house, click done, click O, and we're going to move it this way, and back. And so now we have a little uh, little template for Baritone to build with. You don't have to do this, but I find it's actually kind of cool, because it's going to fill in the template as it goes. Let's go ahead and resume, and Baritone's going to keep building. As you can see, Baritone is building the schematic. And it's going to keep building until it's done. I have found out that Baritone doesn't really like to build doors. So keep that in mind when you're making your builds. Just avoid doors. Maybe that's just me, but I found it to not like to build doors. Now, as you can see, press O. We can unload it. And this is an actual structure now. If you want to get rid of the coordinates, go ahead and press K. Now you can see... Baritone has completed the schematic. So that is all. Uh, I do want to let you guys know that 1.14 and then 1.15 guides are coming soon. Uh, thank you all so much for watching, uh, and I will see you guys in the next one.